Hello, my name is Steven. I've been with Renergy for over seven years now, and I'm one of the product managers with the company. Today, we'll be comparing different aspects of the portable power stations, including charging time, lifespan, solar input, and many other key features of the products. We will be comparing the different weights of the portable power stations. First is gonna be the Renergy 1000 at 41 pounds. Next is gonna be the Outdoor 1000 at 22 pounds. Last is going to be the Yeti 1000 at 31 pounds. The Renogy 1000 weighs more due to the building material. We use metal compared to the competitors which use plastic and we utilize metal to make sure that the batteries are safe and no damage could occur. Power stations utilize lithium batteries to store their energy. These units, which are typical, are going to utilize lithium NMC which give you around 500 cycles whereas Renogy uses LiPo 4 batteries, which give you around 3,000 cycles. The Renogy power station can be charged from zero to 80% very fast. With a wall outlet, one hour. With solar, about two and a half hours. And with a cigarette adapter, about nine hours. The Yeti 1000 can be charged via the wall in nine hours, the solar two to 12 hours, and the cigarette adapter in about nine hours as well. This unit can be charged via the wall in about five and a half hours, solar in about six hours, and with a cigarette adapter in about 14 hours. The Renogy 1000 has many outputs. We have six AC outlets, five different DC outputs, and a cigarette lighter port. The Yeti 1000 has many outlets as well, has two AC outputs, four USBs, and your cigarette lighter. Outdoor 1000 has four USBs, three AC outlets, and one cigarette lighter port. Each portable power station has its own display. The Renogy 1000 is very interactive. It gives real-time data about run time, charge time, discharge time, and what your input and output is. The Yeti 1000 does as well, whereas the Outdoor 1000 only gives you input and output information. One big feature with the Renogy 1000 is the app companion. Control and monitor what's going on via Bluetooth with the Renogy 1000. One great thing is actually app control as well. Say you leave something on, you can actually turn it off via the app to conserve the battery of the Renogy 1000. Another key feature of the Renogy 1000 is the expansion feature. So with the expansion feature, you're able to use this parallel kit and you're able to actually expand one unit and get double the output and double the capacity. So now you'll be getting 2000 watt hours and 2700 watts of output. Really easy, all you gotta do is connect one port to one unit and the other port to the other unit and then you're parallel together and now you're getting double the output. Now you're able to utilize these outlets, you're getting 120 volts output, single phase, and you get a 30 out output as well. Another option is gonna be the split phase parallel kit. With this kit, you do get split phase 220 volt output for your larger appliances like your washing machines, dryers, so on and so forth. Outdoor 1000 does not offer the expansion feature, the Yeti 1000 does, it's not as seamless. You're able to expand to AGM batteries, which is very heavy and a little bit complicated. So this is very seamless. And as you can see, very easy to do. The Renogy 1000 can be charged via solar. Here we have the 220 watt Renogy E-Flex. With two of these, you'll be able to charge the Renogy 1000 from zero to 80% in about two and a half hours. Here you can see it's compact design and you're able to transport it with the handle. Once the solar panel is deployed, you're able to set it up in direct sunlight and start charging the Renogy 1000 immediately. If you have two of these set up, you're able to recharge this from zero to 80% in about two and a half hours. Well, there you have it. That's it for today. Thank you for spending your time with us. That's everything on portable power stations. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.